Hey guys, um, I decided to do a really quick video. I was getting ready for bed and um, I ran into a lady on the street and she was asking me a few questions that I thought um, would kind of be relevant to making a video in regards to simple tips that you can do to add to the health of your hair. Um, this lady in particular had uh, stressed the fact that she wore a lot of quick weaves and did a lot of stuff with her hair and it caused her to end up having to cut her hair off and she was like you know what can I do you know I've tried this I've tried that da, 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 da. and the most basic thing I could tell her was you I mean being that you're starting over the most important thing you want to do right now is make sure you're hydrating your hair well and as well as like I said you know keeping your ends clipped that's just something basic that everyone should know um, you know, you want to keep your ends clipped every six to eight weeks. And, um, you also want to make sure that, um, using your deep conditioning treatments and, uh, using e-packs, those are good. Um, you know, a deep conditioning treatment takes no more than 15 minutes. Um, you know, I know certain women that when they're even something as simple as washing your hair. When you wash your hair and you immediately get ready to, you know, I know some people put the conditioner in, you work it in real good, and then you're ready to rinse it out. You shouldn't do that. Try to get a wide tooth comb, preferably a non tangle comb, and comb it through and just give it a few minutes because if you just in initially put the conditioner in and then rinse it out, you're not giving it time to penetrate, penetrate through. Um, penetrate through the uh, the the hair follicle you know so it's pretty much like you're expecting results without doing the work um with the deep conditioner treatment that's no more than just um, you can use regular conditioner you can use cholesterol you add that to your hair comb it through put a plastic cap on sit under a hooded dryer for about 10 or 15 minutes and then rinse it out and there you go if you do that at least every what I want to say maybe two to three weeks I would say two weeks every two weeks at least that would start off results you just have to remain consistent I know you know as women we get busy we have kids we have you know school we have work we have this, this and that but if you're not taking time out to help your hair you can't complain about it if you're not going to do the work if you're not going to do the work to help you know yourself this is you and your hair yeah you can slap a wig on or you can sew some tracks in okay but then stop complaining about your hair because you're never going to help fix your hair if you're continuously doing stuff to hurt it i mean not to say that wigs and tracks are going to hurt your hair but if you're not taking care of your hair really what are you doing nothing um also even down to your diet your diet helps drinking water consistently drinking water I mean I know myself it took me a while because I don't I don't like drinking water but I made myself get into it and trust me it it helps it helps you feel better when you finally you know get to the point where it's not I guess annoying or what have you like uh, me myself okay just case in point um it's been at least mm, I think I haven't had a relaxer I think it was about maybe six to eight weeks after Labor Day was the last time I put a uh, relaxer in my hair. And all I do is, sorry for this for the scarf, but all I do is, you know, I press my hair and um, wrap, keep it wrapped. And um, I use Africa, what is it, Africa's Best Herbal Oil. I swear by that stuff. I love it. And I've never had any issues with it. it it's not a harsh chemical. It's not a harsh smell. And, you know, my hair is shiny. You can kind of see it. I'm not going to go too extra with it. I'm going to get up close. And see. You know, my roots don't look bad. You know. So, that's the best thing I can advise um, anybody to do. Just keep up with um, oiling your hair. And don't don't overdo it. Um, you know like with the grease you don't need a whole lot of grease and if you're gonna do one don't do the other if you're gonna grease your scalp don't put oil on your hair if you're gonna oil your hair don't put grease on your scalp I mean you need to grease your scalp I'm not gonna say that you don't need to do that but you know if you do too much all you're doing is um, you know grease 
attracts dirt and dust to your hair. So anyway, um, questions, comments, hit me up, no problem. And I hope this helps. I hope I hope somebody pays attention because I, you know, I'm getting the same kind of questions, and women are just, you know, something as simple like if you want to do the homemade, um, homemade stuff. I know um, if you take uh, regular olive oil with some mayonnaise and an egg and whip that together, that helps too. Me myself, I wasn't all that great of you know about putting mayonnaise in my hair, so I never tried it, but. I've heard good things about it, so maybe you can try it and get back to me. Let me know if it works, okay? Hope you guys have a good day, good night, and God bless. Love you.